Hey Miniature Painting fans, I hope you're having a good day. I know I am because you're watching my video. I'm Rob Easterling, and today we're actually going to be painting the least voted on by you guys, Marco from Black Rose Wars. I haven't had a chance to paint any new minis lately because I'm working on the Iron Maiden Pack 2, and it's taking me a little bit longer than it should, uh, but that video will be coming soon. So in the meantime, you guys are going to have to watch the least voted miniatures. Anyways, I want to thank again you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and get to the Table, spend less time painting and more time gaming. All right, so Marco, the least favorite of everybody's miniatures for some reason, was Zenithal highlighted before we're going to be using some speed paints on this miniature. He's a very simple paint job, and we're starting off with a little bit of blinding light on his uh, boots, pants, or whatever, stockings. Uh, now, this color you're barely going to see uh, show up on here because it's very, very light, especially with the Zenithal highlight. And the next one we're using is Howling Sand for, I don't think it's hair... I think it's like a wrap that he has around his face or his head kind of thing. It might be hair. I'm not sure. But anyways, it goes around. I think it's like a hoodie kind of thing, sort of. Anyways, some fairy dust now. Air paint, though, not the actual effects. Uh, just to keep it that it's more watered down for parts of his staff there. Some Aztec gold for half the mask only. He's wearing a, uh, what was the name? Uh, Piero, I think, in English, uh, in French, I should say. I have no idea what it is in English. There's a name for that mask, you know, that's like half and half. Uh, if you guys know it, please comment down below because I really don't remember. Peachy flesh for that little hand that he has sticking out there. That's the only thing pretty much that's flesh. Satchel brown here for, of course, the satchels, the belts, his little shoes. Now, again, there's a little name for these shoes. I remember, like, it used to be like the, the pagans used to wear this, I believe. Uh, these little sandal like things here. Anyways, I believe this is what he's wearing again This is not a painting video where I go through a whole bunch of different techniques It was just Zenithal highlighted with some speed paints I know these are a little lace or a little less favorable for some people But hey some people were painting Black Rose Wars out there just wants to see a simple video on how to paint a miniature And that's what I do. I paint the most easily possible so that you can follow along and actually copy or replicate what I'm doing because a lot of videos out there they're gonna go through every single detail of how to glaze and highlight and and layer and this and that and all that no you want these miniatures on the table and you want them there fast so you can play your board games but make them look amazing I mean show your friends you they come over and you pull out all these amazingly painted miniatures and you say Easterling's tabletop miniature show me how to do this. He's amazing. Go check out his video and you share the video They like it. They subscribe. They start painting. We get a whole new World of people joining us and it's people that are not so proud of painting but want to start trying This is the place to be my channel is the place to come to to see how to paint like a noob and feel good about it because I I sometimes don't like my miniatures, but I still like the fact that I was able to paint them fast Get them on the table, and from far, sometimes, they look even better than up close. You're not going to look at them with a magnifying glass and look for every uh, bad issue or bad problem with your miniature. I mean, you got to give yourself some credit and try, all right? This is here. Dude, this is a fun part right here. With console blue, the air paint, I'm actually making the lines on his stocking like on the artwork or like the... I don't, I don't think you see his pants on the artwork, sorry, but I found him online. I looked up the image and he's got these blue lines going down. It's very, very subtle, but they're there. And you see him in person. You may not see him on camera. You may not see him in the photo, but they're there. Okay, so just trust me. Follow them very. There's, you can actually see lines on his pants where they're supposed to go. So just follow along with that. Uh, again, I don't paint the base because I'm using the exact same t uh, method on all the bases from Black Rose Wars. It's known oil first on the whole base, just to get it darker in the recesses and all that. Then some poppy red for the roses and some uh, shamrock green for the vines. So I'm going to be using that on every single base. I'm never going to repeat it again. Uh, I showed it a couple times at the beginning when I started painting Black Rose Wars, but I don't need to show it every time. They all have the same pretty much bases. It's all stone with roses and vines. So if you've seen it once, you've seen it a million times. Um, 
Again, this was the miniature that was always the least voted upon, which kind of sucks. I don't know why. Maybe people just don't want to see Black Rose Wars. Maybe people just didn't want to see it. Maybe the miniature didn't look out so good. Uh, but again, in person, it's always a different view. So you might say, oh my God, this painting looks horrible. But you watch me paint it, you go paint it. And then you're like, wow, okay, no, this looks great. Or you might say, oh no, it does look bad. But I mean, that's up to you. I mean, the world is full of opinions, right? And go ahead and have them. I mean, comment down below what your opinions. You could say, this sucks. And I'll be like, okay, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, can't do much more about it. Anyways, if you are enjoying these videos, don't forget, hit that like button, okay? And I know that 80% of you are watching this and you're not subscribed. It doesn't cost you anything, okay? And then you can also go check out bootsickfdbay.com and take a look at all their miniatures, their paints, and all their good stuff. And there you have it, folks. Marco is finally on the channel and painted and ready for the table. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Help this channel grow. Subscribe. Share with others. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.